better varieties means better uh, uh, yield, more uh, uh, say maybe sometimes better form or better uh, quality of proteins or better quality of other products like eggs or milk. The biologists actually study the life cycles and the uh, data about uh, races of uh, different um, uh, organisms like cows, like buffaloes, like goats or other organisms and uh, through improved breeding techniques we can use better varieties which can yield more proteins, which can yield more milk or with, which can yield more eggs for us. Very importantly in farming, in poultry and dairy farming diseases are a major factor which can sometimes destroy the whole form, the whole form of the, of the animals. In disease control, biology helps us because biologists, they are the scientists of the living organisms, they study the mechanisms of disease, they study the treatments of their diseases and they can tell different um, the causes of the disease that this disease is caused by this particular uh, maybe organism, maybe chemical, maybe food or something else they also can help us in making their treatments. So uh, in dairy and poultry, uh, we can also make better, fee better um, uh, feed for these organisms, we can control diseases, we can make better varieties to get more yield and um, better products. Now the apiculture, honey beekeeping. Honey bees are also kept by people from centuries. People grow them for uh, getting honey. Large honey bees, small honey bees, both are cultured. Honeybee, we know that biology tells us that honeybee is a social insect and it makes colonies. There is a queen bee which lays eggs, there are drones which are males and which um, fertilize these eggs and there are workers, the worker bees, which actually collect the nectar from different flowers uh, and convert it into honey. Biology helps us in um, improving the varieties of uh, honeybees that uh, we can improve better variety we can provide them with, um, with some specific flowers which uh, have more nectar, for example, which is a better nectar for them. Uh, and also, we can help, uh, biology can help us in the disease control. Um, the biologist also tells us, tells the farmers that how to deal with, the, with these honeybees. That is, at which time they can collect honey and how can we deal with the honeybees so that they do not harm them um, and uh, they can collect the honey. Uh, so uh, biology is, is very useful um, in uh, biological knowledge is very useful in honey beekeeping or honey bee farming which is called technically apiculture. Now here we can see a farmer collecting, separating honey bees from the, its home, house. Then comes the biological pest control. We can control the pests which are um, attacking our crops or which are attacking our animals, dairy or poultry farms by biological means. What is a pest? A large number of organisms damage our crops or damage our animals by acting as parasites, attacking upon them. These are called pests. For example, rats. Rats are the pests of uh, different types of crops. Uh, ticks and mites. They are uh, uh, we can call them pests or we can we actually call them parasites uh, upon buffaloes and uh, cows. Uh, there are a lot many insects which commonly attack our crops and destroy our crops. Uh, we control these insect pests by various means. Initial old method was a crop rotation. That is, we uh, change our crop in different seasons. That is, once we grow another crop, second time we grow a different crop. We use chemical controls, we put different types of chemicals on our crops to control the insects, but insects become resistant and also these chemicals are dangerous for our crops. Biological control is a much, much better method. We can uh, actually use the natural predators of uh, the pests to control these organisms. That is, we introduce the predator of the pest in that uh, field and these predators can um, eat upon those pests. The result is our crops are safe uh, and uh, the benefit of this biological control is this, that this is a permanent control, that is those um, predators which are introduced, uh, they will stay there and they will control the crops, control the pests in um, uh, maybe next year or for long term. Secondly, these are safe. 
they do not have our, they are not chemicals they are uh, organisms they do not harm our environment or harm our crops but this is extremely important in the selection of a, a biological control mean any of the organism that it should be safe for our environment that um, it should uh, this 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 should not happen that they eat upon the pest and they also eat upon our crop so selection of a biological control method is also extremely important now applications of biology in growing crops and plants as we know that plants are producer part of the ecosystem they are very important we grow them as food crops we grow them as, as other cash crops like cotton and others we get different products like vegetables we get wheat we get perfumes we get medicines and furniture from the plants they are beauty of the nature they are there are ornamental plants how biology help us in growing crops number 1 we can provide them with um more uh, suitable quantities of uh, water we can uh, grow them in a better soil in which we know that they grow better according to their life cycles we can add better means of uh, their uh, cross pollination or something else and we can control diseases we can produce by genetic engineering or some other method to make more resistant plants to the environmental stresses or different types of environmental changes we can make better breeds of plants which give us better yield and which grows comparatively easily in comparison to uh, the normal plants the other plants so the knowledge of biology helps us in different fields of life starting from the pharmaceutical industry or health or um, uh, medicine to the agriculture uh, to the animal culturing and to um, all other fields of life there are a lot many fields of life 